Hey everybody, welcome to Envision OPG One Piece Gameplay. My name's Kevin, or Vision, or if you watch my Twitch X and X Vision, I'll answer to pretty much any and everything you got for me, and this time I am coming to you with the Iron City Locals Round 2 matchup between Ivankov and Zoro. And I'm not sure who the Ivankov player was. He was fairly new to the locals. We had about 15 locals for this one. Uh, but the Zoro player I know very well. Uh, Yizzy, if you follow him on Instagram, it's Yizzy Pokemon. He is a content creator as well. And before we get into this, though, I want to say we did it. We are over 100 subs. We've got three giveaways for starter decks that I have linked in the description. Please click on those find out how to enter and i will be giving those away in about a week's time so really excited for that and hopefully we'll have another giveaway i want to say it's going to be at 200 subs so if you are a uh if you if you can like share subscribe click on the bell for notifications and whenever we hit that 200 subscribers milestone i will do another starter deck giveaway but let's hop into this one emporio ivankov versus zoro and we know what zoro does zoro is a character that says when you place a don under him all your characters gain 1000 power ivankov is new featured in the op02 second set from one piece and she says at the end of your turn if you have zero cards in your hand draw two cards so You'll see, you should see a lot of guarding early, and it looks like Ivankov is on the play, and she will play Perona to s take a look at the top five cards and place them on top or on the bottom in any order. And that is the ideal first turn start for most blue decks. And it looks like our Ivankov still making decisions. The thing that I would be worried about the most is Zoro is super aggressive, mono red deck, and Yizzy, I actually got the chance to play against this deck and lost in the first round. So I know for a fact it is the one drop beats deck, and Yizzy will play the two drop Curly to Don to search the top five cards for a one drop red, and it does search the Nami, which is also a search card. So he will pull the Nami out. That'll allow, that'll allow him to pick up any Straw Hat character from the top five cards in his deck. Now Ivankov, on turn, has three active Don. Will let two, it looks like Swing Face to start. And Yuzi's just going to take that one. No need to block and get the resources to hand. Tap three, playing the Don Quixote Do Flamingo. That is a three drop blocker that allows you to look at the top five cards of your deck and place them at the top or bottom in any order. It's just like the Perona, except it can block. Zoro's turn. He will dawn up. Likely going to see the Nami search here. <laughs> I get it, Yizzy. Yeah. <laughs> I told them before the game started that they needed to be deliberate with their actions so that they could easily easily be explained by the camera. <laughs> and there is the one drop Nami search. And he's going to try to decide which card to pick up. I think the main target here is usually going to be a Sunny Coon. It's a one drop 3k vanilla. Uh, but with a Don on Zoro, it becomes a 4k base. So it does hit. You're going to see a lot of 5 and 6k attackers from the Zoro. And that's going to be pretty standard. Zoro is a very, very good deck in this new set. I actually think both of these are two of the better decks in the format I think 
Body cat. Oh, he's going to take the Nico Robin here, which tells me he either didn't see Sonny or he's got a Sonny in hand. But Nico Robin's always a good play, especially against that board. And he should. He's going to block from hand here. I'm surprised he didn't use the blocker. With Otama, Nico Robin being a thing. But I guess that would be. Assuming that. Yuzi does not have the Otama in hand to negate the power or minus 2k power to the blocker. Ivankov's going to don up here. Swing 6k at base. Yuzi's going to take that one, add another card to hand, go to three life. And then we have an Inazuma, which is a new card, four drop blocker. That says if you have one or less cards in hand, this char character gains 2,000 power. So it becomes a pretty beefy block with one card in hand, which is with Ivankov, you're looking at not a big hand size usually. You'll see a lot of blocking early to really dwindle that hand size down. Zoro here playing the Nami Search. And he's going to grab another Nico Robin. Nothing wrong with that play. There are There is a target on board for Nico. He can don up, swing face, and pop the Perona right now. If he has Otama in hand or the new Gordon. He can minus power and make one of the blockers a target as well. Ivankov does block the 6k attack from Zoro from hand. He blocked with the Mr. 2 Bond Carry <clears throat> Bentham, which is a 2K counter. Mr. 2 and Mr. 3 are new cards from the most recent set that just came out. And there's the Gordon. Gordon is a one drop, no counter, 2K. Activate main. You may play this character at the bottom of you may place this character at the bottom of the owner's deck. Give up to one of your opponent's characters minus 3K power. And so I think he hit the Inazuma. So he will don up the Nico Robin here, swing it face, and pop the Inazuma. That's just a good play by Yizzy. And Ivankov will take that one. Curly Dedan becomes a 4K base with a Don under Zoro. With another Don becomes 5k and can hit. And there is the Sunny Coon. That is an absolute staple in the Zoro deck. Great card. Interacts with the Makino very well. And the Magura. Those are also two new cards from the set that give power to one cost characters. Ivankov with seven active Don. Two cards in hand. And really and truly, the two cards in hand, generally, Ivankov doesn't have a lot of hand presence. But because of the new character cards, is really able to do a lot with, with, not, with not a lot. And he's going to Don up his leader and swing six into Zoro's face. Oh, no, I apologize. Swing six into uh, Nico Robin. <clears throat> We're going to 
of Don at the Perona and swing five into the Curly to Don. That's going to require at least 3K counter from hand. And he's just going to let that go and keep his hand advantage. I think that's fine. He's got multiple attackers on board. Ivankov, three active Don to use. And he's just going to pass turn. <coughs> Uh, three active Don would throw up some red flags for me. There is a new event counter in the game for blue called Deathwink. That is a 6k event counter that allows him to draw up to, to two cards in hand. It's really, really difficult to plan an attack knowing that your opponent has a 6k counter in hand. The good news is for Zoro, you numbers generally don't get that high. You just want to swing a lot for 5 or 6K and force your opponent to over counter. It is a very, very fast deck. Is he thinking about how to allocate his Don here for this next swing? You're certainly going to see Sunny swing. With a Don under the leader, all the Namis become 3K. So he's going to swing 3K into the Perona. <coughs> that is a 6K from the leader into Ivankov. He will block with Alvita 2k counter. Swing 5 in the face with Sunny. He will take that one. Another 5 into the face of Ivankov. And that is the new... Zero cost event counter. Gum Gum Rain. It says you may trash a card from your hand up to one of your leader or character cards gains 3k power during this turn. So usually doing a really good job of forcing the over counter. I think it's safe to assume there's a there's a death wink. That was the last card there. Usually just electing to play the Nico Robin instead of donning up the Nami. Perfectly fine. It gives him an extra attacker for the next turn. Ivankov going to have a really difficult time outing this board. And that is the new... <clears throat> that is the new search card, One Drop Buggy. It says on play, look at five cards from the top of your deck. Reveal one impel down, one blue impel down. Card other than buggy, add it to your hand, then place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. That is the blue version of Nami. And he will grab the six drop Luffy, which is a fantastic card. If the seven drop is in hand, this will be a really big swing. Ivankov just swinging five into the 3k Sunny Coon. Require two drop cards from Yuzi's hand if he chooses to counter. Be at least a 2k and a 1k, and he's just gonna let that go. Try to maintain some hand presence, doesn't want to over block, over counter when he's got so many attackers on board. Ivankov does have the seven drop in hand, the seven drop allows him to play the six drop for free. And the seven drop says, on play, draw a card so that you have three in your hand and then play up to one blue impel down type character with a cost of six or less from your hand. And he hit the combo. He did have the Monkey D. Luffy six drop, 7K base on play or when attacking, you may trash two cards from your hand. Return up to one character with a cost of four or less to the owner's hand. And then this character gains double attack. That is the ideal combination for the Ivankov deck. You'll see it a lot in this set. It's a very, very good deck. One of the, in my opinion, it's a top two deck. 
you essentially allow 14k power on the board for seven don it is absolutely insane four of each staples for sure in Ivankov and now that board's looking a lot better for our Ivankov player he does have an active Don as well the Zora player does have 10 active Don three viable attackers on board as long as he dons up his leader Yuzi has a ton of cards in hand. Definite hand advantage, though. But the board state, definitely in favor of Ivankov on this one. Trying to think about how to allocate his Don. He definitely needs to Don up Zoro. Give his characters plus 1k at least. Looks like that's what he's going to do here. Sorrel becomes 6k, but those Namis become 3k bases. And he's going to swing 6 into the face of Ivankov. One active Don. And Ivankov is going to take the damage. Three cards in hand. He's going to Don up one of his Namis to 5k. And I think the goal here is for him to overblock. And he, he does drop a 2k counter from hand in Alvita. Yuzi really thinking about how to plan this attack. It looks like he's got about eight cards in hand. It looks like a brook in hand. That is the set one brook. That is an activate main. You can give two rested Don cards to a character on the field. Or your leader. And he is going to do it. He's going to allocate the Don to one of the Namis. Make it a 5k base. He also gives him another attacker on the, on the next turn. And he's going to swing 5k into the Ivankov here. Two cards in hand for our Ivankov. He is going to use the blocker on board. Because he does play the Gordon to minus 3k to the 6 drop Doffy, Doffy, Luffy rather. And it becomes a 4k base. And then there's the jet pistol to out the 6 drop Luffy. That's uh, well done from our Zoro player there out one of the most dangerous cards in blue right now and effectively protects his board for the crack back too there is no rush in blue that I'm aware of so he'll be able to at least take out the the two rested Namis here if he chooses But at this point, it might just be a race. He's going to don up his buggy and swing into the Nami for only 3k. Zoro does have a pretty sizable hand. He could elect to drop a 2k counter and protect the Nami here. Easily enough. I think if you're going to protect one, that would be the, the attack to do it. But he, now he decides to just let that go. Yeah, and he's going to swing Ivankov into the other Nami, just clearing the, the, the attackers that he can. He's going to swing 10k at the Zoro's face here. He does have six active Dawn available to him. He's going to use them all here to play the six drop Luffy again. And he's going to pass turn. He 
does have a pretty significant hand advantage. I know for a fact he's got a Nico Robin in hand. It's not going to do him a whole lot of good now that the, the big guns for blue are out. I guess he could out the buggy if he wanted to, but I don't think he's worried about buggy as much as he is the Ivankov and the six drop Luffy. Is he trying to plan his attack here? Again, he's going to don up his Zoro. Make sure his Nami and his Brook at least get in range of hitting the face of Ivankov. He's just asking how many cards he had in hand. I think it's always safe to assume that an Ivankov player late game will have less than three cards in hand. But blue does have a lot of counters. There aren't many cards in blue that actually don't have counters, so at the very least, at the very least, you can assume that there's 3k in counter from hand if he's got three cards. Is he electing to swing six into the face of Ivankov, and he will drop the four drop Mihawk 2k counter from hand. And that Don under Zoro does make the Brook a 4k base and the Nami a 3k base. I think he's definitely got to keep the pressure on here. He does play the Rush Zoro 3 drop 5k base. It becomes 6k with a Don under the leader. So he is swinging 6 into the face of Ivankov here. Not sure what's in his hand. But he may have to take this one. And you're, you're looking at no blocker on board. And he does have a 2k counter in Alvita. I believe that makes him hellbent. Meaning he has no cards in hand. So he's going to swing just five. He knows he has to take it here. He's got another Rush Zoro in hand. This could be the last turn. Nami is 3k. So he'd have to allocate two Don to the Nami to, to be able to hit the five number he needs. And he does have the second Rush Luffy. That's 6K into the face of Ivankov, and he does take it. Oh, and there, there it is, the Makino tap for three. That makes Nami a 6K base, seven with a Don allocated into the face of the Ivankov. He needs to drop 3K counter, and he doesn't have it. That is the game. Our Yizzy taking the dub in round two, and that makes him 2-0. and oh. Going into the last round, and what a game that was. Zoro, Ivankov, both very good decks in this new meta. Two life left still. That is well done by Yizzy on Zoro there. Zoro is just dangerous. But I really appreciate you guys coming to listen, watch the videos. Uh, we did hit our subscriber goals, like I said. There's going to be three links in the description for the starter deck giveaways. So make sure you click on those and learn how to enter. And before I go, I just want to give a huge shout out to Iron City Games, the whole crew over there, Anthony Casella, Jarrett Hubbard, Jose Hasconga, Norman Irfan, uh, this the squad that helps me bring content to you guys. I'm really really enjoying it But until next time have a great great rest of your day